Hi everyone. In this example, we will apply what we learned in this module in solving a very interesting problem. The position of a car along a curved path is given by x equal to 5t and y equal to 10t minus 2t squared. This set of equations actually are called parametric. equations. This defines how the position along the x-axis changes and this defines how the position along the y-axis changes. So the very first question is what is the initial position of the car? The initial position or course at t equal to 0. So we have x 0 will be equal to 5 multiplied by 0. This is 0 meters. y 0 will be equal to 10 0 minus 2 0 squared. This is 0 meters. So yes, the initial position is zero, 0, which is at the origin. So the particle is undoubtedly at the origin initially. The first question, the second question is, is the car initially at rest? How do we know whether the car is moving or at rest? Remember, a car at rest has a zero velocity. A moving car has a non-zero velocity. So if we can prove that this is A, B, if we can show that V O X is not equal to zero and or V O Y is not equal to zero at T equal to zero, then the car is not initially at rest. Understand that initially VOX may be zero and VOY is not zero. The car will be moving. For the car to be at rest, the initial velocity in the X direction must be zero and the initial velocity in the Y direction must also be zero. So VX is equal to dx over dt, which is d dt of 5t, and this is going to be equal to 5 meters per second. So vy is dy over dt, which is d of dt, sorry, this is dt, of 10 t minus 2 t squared. This is going to be equal to 10 minus 4 t. Therefore, when v o x, which is v o x at t equal to 0, this is just going to be equal to 5 meters per second because the initial velocity in the x direction remains constant. V O y will be equal to which is just the, the which is v y at t equal to zero. This will be ten minus four multiplied by zero, and this is just ten meters per second. So the initial velocity in the x direction is five meters per second. The initial velocity in the y direction is five meters per second. So this means that the particle is not initially at rest. So the answer here is no. So the particle is not initially at rest. So the next question is, we need to determine the path of motion. 
usually the path of motion is also called the, tra the trajectory generally is usually just a function of y y expressed as a function of x so we know that x is equal to 5t this would mean that t is equal to x divided by 5 therefore y is equal to 10 t minus 2 t squared will be equal to 10 x divided by 5 minus 2 t over 5 sorry this is x over 5 all squared that would mean that y will be equal to 2x minus 2x squared divided by 25 so this expression equation gives us the path of motion otherwise known as the trajectory otherwise known as a trajectory now what do you notice here you notice that the coefficient of x square is negative that means that the path has a maximum turning point so when when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 now when y is equal to 0 we will see that 2x minus 2 over 25 x squared will be equal to 0 that means that x bracket 2 minus 2 over 25 x is equal to 0 so x will be equal to 0 or 2x over 25 will be equal to 2 if we simplify that you will have 2x equal to 50 and therefore x will be equal to 25 so when y is 0 x is 0 and x is equal to 25 now what we need to do is determine our maximum turning point at maximum turning point dy dx is equal to 0 as well as d2y dx squared is less than 0 but in this particular problem we are concerned just with this equation so all we have to do is equate this ex differentiate this expression once and equate it to 0 and solve for x <coughs> so what do we do so y prime which is just dy over dx will be 2 minus 4x over 25 so if we equate that to 0 that would mean that 4x over 25 will be equal to 2 in other words 4x is equal to 25 multiplied by 2 that means that x max will be equal to 12.5 meters this is x max 12.5 meters so when x is equal to 12.5 meters or 25 divided by 2 what is y so y max will be equal to 2 bracket 25 over 2 minus 2 over 25 25 over 2 all squared this to cancel this two so we're left with 25 
minus one of the 25 takes care of one of the 25. One of the 25 takes one, these two takes care of one of these two, so we're left with 25 divided by two. So essentially, y max will be equal to, this is 25, which is just gonna be 25 divided by two which is 12.5. So if we draw the graph of y against x, when x is 0, y is 0, so the graph passes through the origin. When y is 0, x is 25, so this is 25. We have here 12.5, and uh, we have here 12.5, so this right here is the maximum turning point. So the graph will go up like that. So this is the path of motion. This gives us the path of motion. So remember this, in order for you to determine the equation of path, use isolate t in the x equation and substitute that value of t in the y equation. Then express y as a function of x. That equation is what we call the equation of path for a moving object.